Well, hey there, well, hi there, well, hello there, Travel Start. It's Liz from Travel Start here. Thank you so much for stopping by. We know that you can spend your time in travel absolutely anywhere, and that you decide to do it with us just makes my heart happy. So thank you so much for that. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new content is made available. Okay, so uh social getting social can i start with this okay um we have several things that have happened since the last time i've been on youtube you guys know that i live with a chronic health condition it has been kicking my butt but today i feel well enough to actually do a video so yay here i am okay so look it um we have a group uh, over on facebook uh called travel start uh voyages Go on over there, ask to join. You'll see pictures, videos, recipes, etc. in that group. There's also a group voyages for Travel Start. So if you're interested in traveling with us when we go to Mexico or on a cruise or, you know, whatever it may be, that's the group for you. Also, if you're thinking about putting a group together for you, for your family, for your business, for whatever it is, that's the place to go. Um, also, if you're thinking about doing things more uh, like a corporate incentive and you're taking people out and looking for something interesting to do, cruise may be the way to go or some type of a group voyage, that's the group for you. Okay? That's different from the last time that I chatted with you guys. Um, also, we currently have two group cruises that are set up right now. One of them is uh, called Get Panorama. It is in June of 2021. I don't know the date that we sail. I want to say it's the 6th. Um, it's a seven day cruise. It is Mexican Riviera, so typical ports. And you guys can find that information on Travel Stellar also travel start on Facebook um, also we have a group cruise through celebrity which I'm excited about you guys know there's videos on YouTube about that uh, we're calling that the apex of love and it is on Valentine's Day in 2022 uh, and we have a group for our specific sailing, uh, a sailing for that particular group. So if you guys are interested in um, either of those, you guys can check those out. All the information for groups is listed down in the comments down below. Um, also, our blog is there as well. If you just want to go on, click on, get quick information, and head out, you can do that on the blog or on the Facebook page. Okay, that was a lot of information, right? Okie dokie. So this is a video I want to talk to you about the CDC's uh, guidelines that they just just released uh, what two days ago there's been a lot of videos on Facebook and YouTube about what the CDC has um, has allowed and hasn't allowed and what they've sale uh, you know said is okay for sale or what or what the recommendation it, it's been like a lot so um, apparently there are 69 pages. I'm looking at the document right now. It is called the Healthy Sale Panel. You can pick this up at the CDC.com, I want to say. It was put out on September 21st, 2020. Now, I'm not going to read you all this stuff, but what I will say is these are the things that the CDC at this point is recommending that's important for you, as, you know, if you're interested in cruising or getting out on the water again. Um, and it's not say just you and like you know your family on a vessel okay so if you're going through some type of a cruise ship or you know whatever okay so it's common sense you guys it's common sense I can't believe that I have to say this if you guys remember and you go back to the beginning I said there was a video there was a video that I did that said don't lick anybody with COVID you guys they're legit saying the same thing wear your mask wash your hands don't like anyone with covid uh okay there are some things though all joking aside that you guys probably want to know about um they're recommending social distancing be kept in place so you know you need to be at least six feet apart from anyone that you are not you know in the group with um they are recommending of course uh, face coverings and masks and things like that if you're going to be in common areas so if you're going to leave your cabin and go out on the ship then they are recommending masks and obviously when you're eating you don't have to have masks on because you're eating and you should be social distance when you're eating right socially distance so the ta the table should be set up in such a way that um, you're not within six feet of someone else right uh, I would say the one caveat to that is obviously 
when you're going to a place and you're sitting down to eat and or buffets we'll talk about that in a second but if you have a server that's coming into your sp your space my my thing is be very very cognizant of that and be kind like put a mask on when your server is at the table because he is or she will be moving around to lots of tables and you don't want to potentially catch anything or give anything to someone else so just put your mask on when your server is there um, in buffets they will not allow you to grab your own food so you are gonna have to have someone that serves you your food at the buffets which is a good thing um, I heard on a video from Lalita Loca, I want to say, that, you know, when you touch the handles in the buffets, you and like 500 to 1,000 other people have touched those utensils. Um, I never thought about it that way, but it's kind of, it's gross, because you know there are a lot of people that don't wash their hands or do one of the, yeah, it's nasty. So, um, make sure that you um, are aware, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't want people serving you at the buffet, especially in the beginnings when they're getting back to things, um, there's going to be someone serving you food in buffet. They're going to hand it out to you as opposed to having everyone touching that handle. Um... They also did have some things that came along that are, you know, of interest, especially since I think it was of the Diamond Princess that had all these issues to be like the ship that had a lot of people confined with COVID. Um, so basically, the thought that was in my head just left and it ran away. I have no idea what just happened to it. Um, oh, it was about ports. So the ports, now they have a situation set up where if you should have someone that's positive for COVID, the ports now know how to act and what they should do and they have a system that they'll be able to implement for COVID patients. Legitimately, you guys, I would love to say that COVID is like slowing down, but y'all, it's not. Um, it depends on where you're at in the world. It depends on where you, you know, reside or where you're traveling to or traveling from from some places still have a higher amount. I live in California, so California still has quite a few COVID pa uh, patients, you know what I'm saying? So um, also know that what they're, what they're suggesting here is not like a forever thing, it's temporary. It's until we get COVID under, under control, it's until they get a vaccination in place so that you can um, you know, travel safely and get back to what we enjoy, which is spending time with people and getting out and seeing the world, right? Okay, so I know this is not the most, like, enjoyable video to film, but those are kind of some of the highlights of it. If you guys want to look at it, if I can figure it out, I think I can just post a link to it. I have it downloaded to my computer, that's why I'm saying it. Um, but if I can find the document easily on the CDC, I'll just post a link to that document in case you guys want to take a look, see, and, and make your decisions about cruising. Now, here's the question I've been asking myself. As I said, and you guys know, I don't try to hide this. I refuse to be put in a situation where I have to feel guilty about something that is happening to my body that... I don't have control over so I have a chronic health condition my husband also has a chronic health condition and will we be on the first ships that are allowed to travel uh, I'm gonna say maybe not the first ship at least definitely not for my husband because he has had pneumonia in the past I've never had lung problems um, you know huh, of all the things I've had lungs nope that's good. So I, I like breathing and that's good. Um, I myself would go, but I probably wouldn't go with like my husband or my mother. Uh, but I think every person has to make their own decision about what feels right to them. So if you're going to be uncomfortable with the fact that people are still social distancing on board, there's not time for you to cruise. If you're going to be uncomfortable with the fact that you can't, um, you know, serve your own food, don't, don't get on a cruise ship. If you have health issues and you're worried that you may contract the virus, this is probably not the time for you to go yet. It's not the time. But for those people who want to get out, who want to go, who want to have fun, um, who understand that it's going to be socially distanced, that it's going to be different, and I gotta tell you, a lot of this is not great. Like, for those of you who are okay with being socially distanced on board, that's what I was starting to say. Um, this may be a time when you're willing to take that chance. But for those of you who are not, don't. That's all. Don't do it right now. Um, it's not great. And what is not great is for those of you who have been forced to wear masks, you now understand how healthcare professionals feel when we have masks 
on and we have to go into ICU or we have to go into an isolation room and we come out and we complain that we're hot or that we have sweat rolling down our backs. You know, we wear the whole get up. Sometimes we have to wear an entire thing to go into a room and the masks are not exactly the most comfortable. They don't make you feel the best. It can be harder to breathe when you're wearing them. Um, I'm gonna, I do have a little, a little tiny side note about the masks. When I wear a mask in a patient's room that is like an N95 respirator or that is, you know, the normal mask that we wear in healthcare, it's not as hard to wear as some of these cloth uh, makeshift shift masks that we have made ourselves. Um, I have found that with the medical masks, I'm able to breathe more easily than I am with some of the cloth. So um, that's my only little caveat. But, but you will know now that when someone has to wear a mask for a period of time and they're uncomfortable, at least our generation will be more understanding when people say they're uncomfortable or they've had to be in that situation for a while. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, but it's not nice to have to worry about, I mean like you're constantly worried about washing your hands. If you wash your hands regularly, you're not feeling like, oh my gosh, this is cumbersome. But but now you're worried, like I touched a cup and then I touched a table. Does that mean I need to wash my hands? Do you know what I'm saying? It's It doesn't exactly feel like a wonderful vacation is happening if you're worried that you, you know, you might have touched your face before you washed your hands. You know what I'm saying? So if that's how you're feeling, now's not the time for you to cruise. But for me, who's okay with that, and I'm like, get me out of Dodge as soon as possible. I'm tired. I've been going through hell. You know, like in my mind, if that is you, even if you're not dealing with a health issue, like you were one of the workers that had no choice but to work, um, and you're like, I need to get out of Dodge, and you're willing to deal with masks and things, you guys can make those decisions now. There are still some questions out there that we still need answered. For instance, if you get COVID and C's, will the insurance companies cover that? That's an answer that we don't know. Actually, a lot of insurance did not cover COVID. Um, there, were, there were policies that covered you, like the cancel for any reason, that type of thing. But if you were on board and you got COVID, then a lot of people weren't actually completely covered with COVID situation because they considered it kind of like a natural disaster or whatever. Um, and certain things aren't covered under insurance like that. So the question to insurance carriers is, especially the ones that cover people for travel, are you covered, well that specifically, not especially, but specifically for travel, will you now be covering, is there a clause for um, a pandemic, not necessarily COVID, you know? We know we've had SARS, we've had Ebola, we've had, you know, we've had our share of stuff. We even had a flu that took out like, a third of the, of the population in the world years back. So is that it covered in travel insurance? That's a good question. We don't know that. Um, we don't know because what the CDC covers health and wellness, but CLIA covers a lot of governings and the laws and things that, that go into effect and are implemented on cruise ships, C-L-I-A, CLIA. And so will CLIA then be making more rules about if you can travel or how you can travel with this disease out there. Again, my husband has a health condition. Will he be allowed to sail in the beginning? Will he have to go to a doctor and get a doctor's excuse um, that allows him to sail? Will he have to sign something that says I'm traveling, you know, um, like of my own free will and whatever happens, happens? Is, is that what we're looking at? So, okay. So I know this video is already long and I want to get it stopped as soon as possible. So I'm going to say that's all I have for you about COVID. Of course, if you guys want to or are interested in more information about COVID and whatnot, then, um, you know, write down in the comments, go over to Facebook, chit chat over there. You can, of course, go into the Travel Start group if maybe you don't feel comfortable putting it on the general page in Facebook. And you can go over to the blog and all the information is down below. Okay. Okay. Uh, as always, I know, I know. There's so many people that are doing travel content. And I know there are a lot of people doing great travel content. So that you spend your time with me. I'm a small channel. I'm, I'm just getting things kind of moving. Um, 
really 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 is appreciated thank you and don't forget to come back for the next video and hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I upload content okay so um, from my heart to yours you're in my prayers from a grateful heart thank you and please be safe and be well out there and we'll see you on the next video okay bye guys bye